Yo, 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 welcome to Urban Gameplay Discussion with, with, with your host with the most hype, Matt Pepper, breaking down the dopest gaming talk on the planet. Yo, 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 what's good, peeps? Welcome to this Urban Gameplay Discussion video where me and a couple of gamers will give our personal opinions about the Fort Honor beta that we experienced over the weekend and whether this should be a game that you should be buying on day one or whether you should stay clear of. So make sure you do keep it locked. Keeping it real, I was really happy to have got access to the closed beta before the official launch of For Honor as when I saw the trailers, whilst I was intrigued, I just wasn't sure how the game would actually feel and play like. On first impressions, I must admit that I was still left in limbo as there was elements I did like and there was also elements that I simply didn't appreciate. Before I go any further, let's quickly hear from a gamer and see what their thoughts about the For Honor beta was. Yo man Pepper, let's go to the phone lines and see what the streets be saying. I really love the way you get to choose between the factions and the chance to fight as a knight, viking or samurai in For Honor. During the beta I had quite a few awesome clashes and epic duels, which just got me drooling for much more. For those on the fence, don't listen to the haters. For Honor will be such a great game and one that shouldn't be overlooked. I wasn't feeling the For Honor beta at all. The gameplay was all over the place and the game modes were nothing special. The controls are just manic and unresponsive when fighting someone. The overall experience is just not for me. I was always in two minds when I first saw the gameplay trailers back in 2016, but now finally getting the chance to play the beta, I'm going to stay well clear and just focus my attention on Ghost Recon Wildlands. Bringing you the best gaming content on the planet. You're watching Urban Gameplay. Yo peeps, as you can hear this game kinda does have mixed opinions, I have had more time to reflect and chalk up some of the positives and negatives about For Honor and just my experiences. Visually the game is stunning and the overall concept of the game I think is superb. I've never personally experienced a game quite like this before and I feel that it definitely has great potential in being such a strong title with longevity if it manages to sell well and have a big enough community to keep supporting it, kind of like how The Divisions is. With that being said on the flip side, I wasn't as hooked as I thought I would be and I did get a little bored after playing through a few matches. Don't get me wrong, the game is not boring but I probably would have enjoyed it or even maybe at least had a better experience if I was playing with a few of my friends or so as you could certainly feel the strength of the multiplayer element in the game and the amount of banter you could have during game chat. Also I gotta take into account that in defense of For Honor this was obviously just a beta and therefore not all modes was available so maybe the campaign mode would fix my personal gripes. One more thing that actually did start kind of stand out for me and rubbed me the wrong way was the controls. At first I did feel that the controls were a little bit hard to grasp and there were times I was just button bashing out of frustration but in the defense of the game yet again because I don't want to heavily bash the game yet it does work well when you actually take the time to master the controls and up your skill levels as the battle will then start to pick up and become a little bit more enjoyable. Before I give my final personal opinion about whether this game is worth buying or not, let's hear from another gamer who's played the beta to see their thoughts and what their opinions are about the game. Yo, Mavips, let's take more messages, bro. I feel that Honor's going to be a good game for 2017. I got a chance to look at the trailer and the trailer, you know, that epic battle between the Samurais and the Vikings was pretty cool. But looking at gameplay online, um, you know, there's a lot of features that I like. I like that you have a four-man squad um, and that four-man squad has an army of their own and you literally go over to your enemies and basically try to control the area that the enemy controls or has captured and you basically vice versa to, you know, whichever enemies accumulate or you accumulate the most points um, I like the fact that you can actually do sword fight technically so using your analog to like defend and stuff is pretty cool and just the way how the characters move and stuff is really really good yo 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 it's time for that explosive urban gameplay First off, I want to take the time to thank all the gamers for giving their opinions and to wrap things up, I guess you're wondering from the beta, do I recommend this game or not? I would say that obviously this is a closed beta so my opinion on the entire game shouldn't be taken in depth as obviously I haven't played the campaign mode yet and other modes which will be available when the full game drops. But what I will say is, this probably wouldn't be a game that will be well received from some of the gamers out there who just kind of want to pick up and play title. The game will frustrate you at first but I will say if you do take the time to learn the game and master the art of blocking then this is definitely where the game begins to shine. As much as I got frustrated by the controls and maybe got a little bored after a few matches, I 
was still quite impressed by what this game is definitely bringing to the table in terms of concept for a video game. I'm confident that a single player will be a pretty good feature in this game and that will also allow me to personally get more practice and become a all round better fighter. All the battles that I personally engaged in whilst I was playing that multiplayer mode was intense and therefore there were so many times I felt I was actually on the battlefield and trust me we can't discount how visually stunning this game actually looks. I feel if you do have a couple of friends to play this game with this is definitely where this game could come to light. I will probably still pick this game up as I do feel that I've only really scratched the surface playing the beta and would love to give it another chance as I do feel the efforts in terms of gameplay and visuals that has been put in for honor should not be ignored. Anyway peeps, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you got the chance to test out the beta and will this be a game that you might be looking to pick up on day 1 in February 2017. I'm definitely going to aim to bring more discussion videos weekly to the channel so we can chop up games and just pretty much talk about any random game and stuff. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and also do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the overall content on the channel and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out peeps. Subscribe button for more cool Urban Gameplay videos.